Happy half, half fortnight foundryman. There's an interesting there's interesting news this week that Nvidia is co-developing a mobile ARM-based SoC with MediaTek to compete with the Snapdragon X Elite on TSMC's three nanometer process with a target price of three hundred dollars. However, I also noticed reports on Games Radar of leaks suggesting that Nvidia is frustrated with Nintendo and looking to enter the PC handheld space, likely with this SoC. Combined SoC that brings the power savings of ARM architecture and the efficiencies of DLSS could wipe the floor with a competition. Could it even take a dent out of Nintendo and Valve? Perhaps the latter more so than the former. What are your thoughts, gents? Uh, what are your thoughts, Oliver? I think I'm curious as to why NVIDIA is reportedly frustrated. You know, you kind of wonder, like, is it because they would like just spitballing here, more modern hardware potentially in the device than four-year-old CPU and GPU architectures is representing like the yeah. vanguard of NVIDIA's uh, handheld console efforts. I, I don't really know what the deal there is, but I think that like the potential for an Android console to ship with higher-end NVIDIA architectures is less interesting to me because, you know, we yeah. see from the Android uh, game landscape that there is not that much that's interesting there in terms of higher end titles there's a little bit in terms of like games as a service games but it's just not super interesting to me well, i'd be much more interested in a switch to that has a dedicated development environment and you know hundreds of millions of dollars of development resources being poured into it every few months in terms of the games that are being released so but it's surely this is a play for the upcoming arm windows if it's a, a pc style handheld that could actually run games quite well uh, that's a lot more enticing I, I guess we'll have to wait and see exactly how well that... Because there's, there's some weird stuff happening. There's a there's an app for the uh, Android phones called WinLater, where, you know, people have got Fallout 4 running on it. The Windows version of Fallout 4 running on a Snapdragon um, SoC. I think it's the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, with a Gen 3 version coming up soon. I mean, it's low settings, poverty settings almost, but it's it's running and it's running at like 30 to 40 frames to, uh, per second on a Samsung Galaxy Tab. So I'm just, I'm just thinking that there's an upcoming transition concerning Windows and ARM that's possibly going to be cha- game changing that could potentially bring NVIDIA into the mix in terms of... Um, uh, being able to produce devices and the concept of partnering partnering with MediaTek, I find kind of interesting because if they're supplying the GPU, well, MediaTek presumably have some sort of custom variant of ARM that is hugely compelling to NVIDIA, when NVIDIA could just use off-the-shelf ARM designs and get their own SOCs out there. So I'm very interested to see what's going on here and why it's taking the form it is and what is the concept of this um, partnership with MediaTek? Because I agree with uh, with Dajar Co here that, you know, efficiencies of the ARM architecture plus what NVIDIA are doing in the GPU space could be really compelling, but it really does need access to the software because you're quite right, Oliver, um, you know, basically producing another Android-based NVIDIA device is profoundly uninteresting at this point, isn't it? Uh, anything to add, John? I mean, I kind of thought of it less as a tablet phone thing and more like targeting <clears throat> small, slim laptop kind of designs yeah, for the, the upcoming game. ARM version of Windows, right? Because they want they want a powerful... I, I would almost venture it's like competing with some of the Apple's like thin laptops or maybe even the iPad Pro, I don't know, with the keyboard and that kind of device, basically. Because if Windows enters into the space here... Uh, conceivably we could see some really slick hardware uh and nvidia obviously would want to get get their you know foot in the door so to speak it yeah. seems like a good way to do it so yeah i think it's all going to come down to this snapdragon x elite right, soc right. to actually see what windows runs like on a completely different I, style of architecture i mean we've seen we've had arm windows before right sure yeah Mm -hmm. it did not go well but i think like the landscape for arm based products has changed a lot and there's more acceptance of this stuff now yeah Uh, and i i could see it getting a larger uptick in support and i feel like the arm version of windows then was like more limited as well like it was i can't remember the details but there's something about it that made it very unsavory to use uh hopefully that's not the case here 